Welcome into the Original Gangsters podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, quick hitter edition. We're gonna we're gonna go back to some uh, news that was breaking last year, and we're gonna uh, tie it into some new news. So uh, we're gonna talk about the 1981 disappearance of Chicago Mafia associate Salvatore Puglia and how it might play into all of the dead bodies that are. Uh, surfacing in Lake Mead over the last couple of years um, with the water levels dropping and uh, bodies coming to the surface and the FBI in Las Vegas, as well as uh, Clark County, um, trying to put to bed uh, some cold case murders and cold case disappearances to the old Tony Spilatro era in Las Vegas. Uh, Salvatore Puglia was a, a, a po politician uh, a, a Democratic committeeman um, in the sixth ward that was put into his post uh, by some pretty powerful Chicago mob guys, uh, Joey Ayupa and Jackie Cerrone, who were the boss and underboss of the Chicago mob at that time. I believe that in the right when um, Ayupa and Cerrone were taking power, they took a, a, a young Puglia who was in his 20s and uh, put him into place uh, in the sixth ward. He got reelected twice in 1981, uh, was going for a third reelection and was told by Ayupa and Cerrone to not run for reelection, to step down and leave politics. There was um, people in the mob that were upset with Puglia uh, for some cooperation that he had given. He was a Cook County employee, worked uh, with the tax assessors and had cooperated in some tax-related uh, cases and seemed to be proud of it, was running around town showing a, a commendation letter. I think he thought it was going to help him get reelected. I don't know if he understood or he should have understood how it made him look like a rat to the mafia. He had people tell him that this is a really bad look, um, in addition to telling Ayupa and Cerrone that he was going to ignore their order to step down and was going to run for re-election despite them not wanting him to. He's running around showing a document uh, that demonstrates he was a cooperator. Um, he disappeared, uh, I believe it was June 4th, 1981. Uh, he was last seen a uh, night on the town, spent at, at Giannotti's at, for, at first, which the old Giannotti's. Uh, and then ended his, his evening at uh, Rocky's Drive-In, which was a, a a place not far from his his home in Melrose Park and was owned by Jackie Cerrone. Uh, disappeared from Rocky's Drive-In, was never seen again. Right now, I'm being told in Las Vegas that uh, Puglia is one of the names of the missing people that they're looking to tie to these uh, bodies that they've been finding. And uh, we know that Tony Spilatro had a very high profile, very violent run as the Chicago mobs point man in Las Vegas. You saw it in the movie Casino. Uh, Joe Pesci played him, uh, went to went to Las Vegas to look after the Chicago mobs interest in the uh, hotel and casino in, industry and just went totally off the reservation, uh, was unchecked took over the streets of Las Vegas, was talking about killing his way to the top of the Chicago mafia. And then he was murdered in 1986, but uh, you know over three dozen homicides uh, were tied to him during his reign from 1971 to 1986 in Vegas. And right now I'm being told that uh, Puglia could be one of the people uh, that disappeared into that lake. Uh, he was someone who went to Las Vegas quite a bit, uh, was someone that was known to sometimes socialize with Tony Spilatro when he was out there. Ayupa was the one who was in charge of Spilatro out there via Joey Lombardo. But uh, there, there was a belief that he had gone to Vegas uh, and never came home. So we shall see. But it's interesting, you know, 42 years later, people still uh, talking about Salvatore uh, Puglia. I guess his dad was a if not a wise guy, it was somebody that was tied into the uh, West Side regime, Fifi, uh, uh, Buccieri, uh, and uh, that crew that eventually became the Lombardo crew on Grand Avenue. And Joey Ayupa, you know, traced his roots to Melrose Park as well. Seemed like as somebody in his 20s, Salvatore Puglia was looked at as a real asset for the mafia. 
Um, but by the 80s, it had run its course and he wasn't doing what he was told. Oh, again, only time will tell. We'll keep you updated. Um, it looked for a while, a couple months ago, it looked like um, uh, Johnny Pappas was a name that they were coming up, uh, upon as that, uh, you know, either the body in the barrel or another one of the bodies that had come up, uh, started in, in the uh, late spring of 2022, bodies started coming to the surface. Uh, the word was coming in that it was the, the, the feds thought it was Johnny Pappas. We have not gotten any word to confirm that Pappas was a Chicago guy that came to Las Vegas, was involved in politics, was was running the Echo Bay Resort on behalf of uh, Spilatro and those guys and disappeared on his way to a meeting in, in August of 76. So. Uh, we'll take you back out to Vegas when we have more information. But Salvatore Puglia, 33 years old, disappeared in June of 81, has not been seen. Feds in Las Vegas are looking to tie his remains um, or his DNA to remains that were found uh, in Lake Mead or around Lake Mead in the last year and a half. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, out.